Welcome to the McMaster Health Forum. I'm John Labus, the director of the forum. The McMaster Health Forum's goal is to spark insights and generate action on the pressing issues of our time. The forum's work is organized into five areas, each of which is designed to help strengthen health systems and get the right programs and services to those who need them. The first of these five areas is Learn How, through which system leaders, citizens, and students can learn to make evidence-informed decisions. Programs in this area include Health Systems Learning, which provides online and in-person training opportunities to policymakers and stakeholders or those who support them, short online courses and webinars for citizens, and McMaster Health Forum Fellowships and Queen Elizabeth Scholarships in Strengthening Health Systems, as well as online and more traditional courses for students. The second of our five areas is Find Evidence. Through Health Systems Evidence and our new Social Systems Evidence, we provide the world's most comprehensive free access points for evidence on how to strengthen health and social systems and get the right programs and services to those who need them. Through the McMaster Optimal Aging Portal, we and four other groups at McMaster provide older adults high quality information about the health and social aspects of optimal aging. The forum itself also produces a broad array of evidence products, including the rapid syntheses that we prepare for policymakers and stakeholders in three, 10, or 30 business days, as well as the evidence briefs that inform our stakeholder dialogues and the citizen briefs that inform our citizen panels. Our third area, Spark Action, focuses on supporting both health system leaders and citizens to address pressing issues. Our stakeholder dialogues provide an opportunity for 18 to 22 key doers and thinkers drawn from those who will be involved in or affected by decisions at the issue at hand to deliberate about a problem, options for addressing it, and key implementation considerations. Dialogue participants are informed by a pre-circulated evidence brief and bring their tacit knowledge and real-world views and experiences to bear during the deliberations, all of which are captured in a dialogue summary. Citizen panels, on the other hand, provide an opportunity for 14 to 16 citizens with a variety of types of lived experience with the issue at hand and selected to ensure ethno-cultural, socioeconomic, and other forms of diversity to similarly debate about a problem, options, and implementation considerations. Participating citizens are informed by a pre-circulated plain language citizen brief and the values that they believe should underpin action to address the issue are captured in a panel summary. While we convene dialogues in panels across Canada and internationally, those held locally take place in this, the technology-enabled dialogue space, which was purpose-built to support this type of collective problem solving. We're now complementing these dialogues and panels with proactive efforts to build support and spark action among communities of practice, working locally, nationally, and internationally. The fourth area is Embed Supports, where we provide policymakers and stakeholders with a variety of services to help them institutionalize promising and proven approaches to evidence-informed policymaking. For example, we may work with the national government to review how their staff currently incorporates evidence in briefing documents and convenes expert review groups and identify practices being used in other parts of government or by other governments that they may wish to adopt. Finally, Evaluate Innovations is our fifth area, through which our staff and students working at the McMaster Health Forum's Impact Lab, in addition to their work on health systems evidence and social systems evidence, evaluate innovations in supporting evidence-informed decision-making by system leaders and by citizens, and prepare summaries of what we've learned from past evaluations. Thank you for joining me for this walkthrough. I encourage you to check out our website.